In today's session, we'll learn about working of lead acid battery. It consists of number of cell connected in series. In each cell, there are two plates, positive and negative. The positive plate consists of lead dioxide and negative plate consists of spongy lead. These two plates are separated using separator, which is insulating material. This total construction is kept in hard plastic case with electrolyte. The electrolyte is a water and sulfuric acid. The lead acid battery involves two states of chemical reaction that is charging and discharging state. For charging state, to charge battery, we need to provide voltage greater than terminal voltage. Here the hydrogen exchange electrons with cathode. This hydrogen react with lead sulfide in cathode and forms sulfuric acid and lead. On other hand, sulfite ion exchange electrons with anode and becomes radial sulfate ion. This sulfate ion react with lead sulfide of anode and create lead peroxide and sulfuric acid. The following chemical reaction takes place at anode and cathode during charging process. For discharging state, loads are connected across the plate. The sulfuric acid again breaks into two ions that is positive and negative ions. The hydrogen ions react with lead peroxide and make lead monoxide and water. Lead monoxide start reacting with sulfuric acid and create lead sulfide and water. On the other side, sulfite ion exchange electron from lead creating radial sulfite ion which further create lead sulfide reacting with lead. The following chemical reaction takes place at anode and cathode during discharging process. These reactions are exactly opposite of charging reaction. During discharging state, dilute sulfuric acid gravity decreases. At the same time, potential difference of cell also decreases. There are various methods applicable for charging the lead acid battery. Each method can be used for specific lead acid battery for specific application. Normally, battery manufacturer provide proper method of charging the specific lead acid battery.